we've talked about hape. What about hace? Again, just to remind you, hape, high altitude pulmonary edema, hace, high altitude cerebral edema. So, what do climbers look like? What do trekkers look like when they're developing signs of altitude related cerebral edema? Patients with high altitude cerebral edema typically, not always, because nothing's always in medicine, typically begin with AMS, with signs of acute mountain sickness. So typically they have a headache and they're not feeling well to begin with. Well that headache is typically going to get worse. Oftentimes they start with a lack of appetite and often as they're developing cerebral edema they will develop frank nausea and ultimately vomiting. Patients with haste will often develop a decreasing level of consciousness and they'll start getting stupid, what doctors call obtunded out to lunch and they have trouble thinking. But the hallmark, the true hallmark of high altitude cerebral edema is actually something called truncal ataxia. And ataxia is the medical term for uncoordination. 